number one, or hello y'all, whichever one you want to prefer. Uh, we are back in Dishonored 2, uh, Dishonored Part 2. When we last left off, I actually threw the guy over the board and, over the board, over the railing, because I tried to summon a chair and he died. So, and now we're going to find out what's going on in the interrogation room. Alright, here we go. First we'll look through the keyhole. Ooh, ooh, who's that? Oh, this gonna be gone. Anyway. What are you talking about? Huh? What? I was talking about that. Oh. Um, let's see here. There was, I think, a recording. Well, our doggo has changed positions, and now he's laying up against the couch. I'm noticing that I do need to... He's weared all the other nails down in one call that where he needs them to have, except for one. And it's kind of annoying. Well, then once we're done recording, you can just go ahead and... We, st we still got to kind of, like, get him introduced to that. So he'll be calm with it. Okay, hold on. Okay. Guess I could do it. He got his mouth open. Why do I need the explosives again? I forget. Uh. Oh. Okay. I had to think it's explosive. Yep. Oh. I didn't realize what you did until I kind of glanced down at the recording. I was like, oh wait, he doesn't have a bottle anymore. <laughs> right, let's try that again. <laughs> you oh, that brings back a memory of ours, Jacob. Oh? About the whole miss aiming the bottle. Oh, God, Bob Steve. Oh, my goodness. We that need was... a copy of that game to play that. That was funny. For those of you who don't know, I think it was on X Play, wasn't it? It, uh, it was on G4 TV. Yeah. X and it, yeah. yeah X also known as Extended Play. In general, calm down. I'm still here, boy. Uh, it, for those of you wondering why I said that, it's because he kept slamming his paw down like he was wanting me to like either grab his paw or like want me to pet him or something. It's just the way he did. Anyway, there was a um. There was a segment called Secret Agent Bob, Secret Agent Steve, the two official, unofficial Splinter Cell agents. And they did that some... That is a backtrack accident. Yeah, I'm going further away. Oh, uh, but anyway, they would, like, do random crap in the game and There's make it funny. The now, end. originally, we were going to try to do the same thing, but when we tried to re recreate some of the stuff, it didn't seem as funny. But then we ended up having like actual moments that would be equivalent to Secret Agent Bob and Secret Agent Steve. And for the record, I'm not trying to. Uh, I, I'm not sure if that's technically copyrighted. It's not. It's, it was again like uh, someone doing a show like RDB did. Okay. Uh, so anyway. Uh, one of the funniest, one of our funnier moments during that was, uh, we, we were right down the elevator and we were getting ready to like, uh, go across this room and do something. I forgot what the original mission was, but as soon as we stepped out, we were like outnumbered. We got shot and killed. And so our next attempt, we were, we were trying to devise a plan as we were going down in the elevator. And so the plan was, as soon as the doors open, throw a flash grenade or a flashbang to blind the enemy so we can come in guns a blazing. Stupid me. I threw. Bounces off the, uh, the door frame of the elevator. Bounces back and explodes on us, so now we're flash banged and cannot see a dead gum thing. Got killed. All right, attempt number two. We're like, okay, this time crouch, get a good arc, and throw. Or look up at a certain distance and then throw. Okay, tank number two. Stupid me. I don't. 
Does this guy lay my butt look big? That was like, that was really like, even more like, I mean, it's just really, that, that's. Anyway, go back to this one. So anyway, we, we agreed to crouch, uh, get a good angle, and then throw. Again, stupid me. I didn't get the right angle. No, wait, no. Before that, what ends up happening was we're both in the crowd position, but for some idiotic reason, as soon as those doors open, I stand up oh, immediately. Man. That's why. Because I said, as soon as you throw it, sprint. Yeah, I got the order mixed up. So as soon as those doors opened, I came out of the cross position, threw the grenade, and we got kind of flashbang again and died. Okay, attempt number three. Attempt number three. I remember the crouch. And say crouch once the doors open. But too high of an angle so it bounced off the door again, blinding us. So yeah, after three, on the fourth attempt though, we finally got it right. But it was hilarious though. Well, he was mad at me after that though. Oh, we got some other funny stuff to talk about on that. But I'd rather save it in case if we do happen to find a way to actually play it, play that on the show. But uh. Okay, I'm gonna run. Okay, bye. Uh, and explosions. So, where does it, where does it, I don't know where that puts me. I have no idea where that puts me. I don't know if we've been going. It's only, it's only seven minutes. It really has been just seven minutes. Yeah, because okay. as soon as it started recording, it went to zero. And then went from there, because I, I made sure to look. Oh, so scams and stuff. What's going on? Oh, sorry, just concerned about our doggo. Oh, oh, there's something else I think we should mention at least. Like what? I don't know. There was another story or something. Well, there was that time we tried to race down to see who got who got repelled down the elevator shaft. Oh, wait, if we're talking about, like, funny moments in video games, uh, I've been meaning to, I was going to share this with mine, uh, on my, uh, playthrough, or even, uh, when we went back to, uh, on an episode of, uh, Ratchet Deadlock, well, I figured I'd go on and share it now, since I remember. I'm uh, hiding under the table. Oh, nose. Anyway, well, in, uh, in four... Not oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. What? What's the problem? Okay, he doesn't recognize. Okay. Oh. Uh, so anyway. Come on! That was bull. Well, I mean, what happened? Hey guys. Okay, okay, get up. Well, that was bull crap. What happened? I thought he had turned around, but apparently he did. And it's like, okay, hey guys, I'm just gonna be crouching and, you know, I'm just getting level. Sorry about that, guys. Anyway, um, we had an awesome Accelerate English 4 teacher in high school. Now, before I begin, actually begin with the story, uh, our English 4 class was on the bottom, uh, or was on the our, first floor. On. Our school had two floors. And, uh, of course, our English 4 class was on the first floor. Now, the way the lunch system worked back then, it may have changed now, which I seriously doubt. But uh, the way it worked was, as soon as, you, what was it, third period? I think it was third period. Yeah. Yeah. Third period, uh, for those that had class on the second floor, as soon as third period started, they'll put their stuff up and then immediately go to lunch for about 30 minutes. 25 to 30 minutes, somewhere around there, I can't even remember now. 
uh, a bell would ring, prompted about a five minute delay for the students to get done with lunch to head back up to their classrooms while the first four went to lunch. Now then, of course we're seniors for uh, English 4 and uh, our teacher said, guys, let me level with you. Let me know when you're doing your senior skip day and I won't play any Darn season. it! What happened? Yeah, you gotta have them. Did somebody else I see you then, I think? This jerk right here. Douche B. That's another story for another time. Uh, anyway. Sorry, I paused for a minute. My, our no, dog, you said that I said do it. Uh, our dog readjusted his head, and so now his, like his entire neck and everything is at my, my booty. My butt. Anyway, what was I saying? I done lost track. Okay. Saying, let us, let oh, me know. let me know if you're uh, when you're gonna plan your senior skip day because I won't plan anything that day. And um, Jacob and I were actually one of the few students concerned with our grades, even though we really had no need to be. Now looking back at it, but still we wanted to err on the side of caution. So. That day, only what the heck just happened? Somehow he saw you too. But uh, somehow, when we uh, oh, dang, come on, I'm getting sidetracked so easily tonight. Anyway, oh, uh, of course you gotta get some food. Oh. Uh, Dead coming. There I go with the silence and everything. Trying to backtrack. Oh, so on the day of the senior skip day, uh, only three sh students showed up to that classroom. Jacob, me, and a personal personal friend of ours, uh, who recently got married. So about a month ago. So congrat again, congratulations on that. You know who you are. So anyway. We happen to know, uh, we happen to know, though, on that same day, another friend of ours who was, what, a freshman or a sophomore by that point? He was, a uh, great behind us. Okay, so a junior. Uh, so yeah, we happen to know, we happen to, was it happen to know, we happen to, we happen to, happen to, happen to have known. Sorry, I just won't actually wanted to do proper English for that, even though I don't always speak proper grammar. Yeah, y'all. Even, even though I am a southerner. But I don't let that stop me. I do like to sound proper every once in a while. But uh, we happen to have known that uh, this, this junior, who's a good friend of ours, was spending the night with somebody this Friday, that Friday night. And also, I had brought his Xbox oh, 360. I can't remember if that was close to the last night. Oh, gosh. Oh, my. I think it was close to the last night. I think it was close to the last Of mice and men? I know. That was the name. Um, anyway, back to the story. He had, what was it, an Xbox 360? It was 360. Okay. And a copy of Halo 2. Because he's going to spend another over at Frank's house. I've already mentioned that. I already mentioned that. But thank you for at least trying to... Uh, yeah, get rid of it. yeah. So anyway, and he happened to be in Spanish class at the time, not far from yeah, our classroom. Yeah, Spanish class because he was supposed to have it because he's supposed to have it that crazy bad. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, and he was actually just like right next door to us in uh, Spanish class. So we go into the Spanish class, uh, since obviously there's nobody, see, when I said that only three people showed up, was that was Jacob, me, and a very close personal friend of ours, that's what we mean. Not even the teacher showed up for that day. Well, he wasn't there at the time. Way to ruin the surprise. I was going to wait and say that. Well, we saw it at the end of the day. 
Oh, yeah. Anyway, has forgotten. Oh, um, well, we saw him earlier that day. That's why. Yeah. That's why I said that. Yeah. Anyway, the point is, we asked his Spanish teacher if they if they weren't doing anything in class that particular day, if he could come join the three of us in uh in the English four classroom. She said sure. So we borrowed a uh, the uh the the stand that had the uh, TV on it, and we hooked up his 360 and. What's funny is, too, about these two friends, they both happen to have the same first name. And, uh, so I was with, I was with the junior, and you were, you was with our senior, the senior friend. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, as we're... I just got killed by rats. As we're... Ah, uh, dead gummy, we've already been recording for like 16 minutes. Yeah, uh, do you want to finish the story first? Yeah, let me finish the story. Yeah, it ain't got much. It ain't got much longer to go anyway. Uh so what ends up happening? We're, we're so we're playing Halo Two for Accelerated English Four for the day after lunch. That is because that was the arrangement. Uh now the reason why I mentioned earlier about the whole floor system. It's because some of the teachers that were on, uh, that taught on the first floor have a tendency to climb in through windows. Well, as we're playing, uh, our English four teacher walks in through the window. He had just gotten some Taco Bell. Anyway, he sees us playing Halo 2. He looks at the screen, looks at us. Screen one more time, and then back at the four of us. And with a, and with a serious face, he asked us, "Does that make y'all want to kill people for real?" We said, "No, sir, not at all." He was basically like, "Carry on." Went back to his desk and sipped on his drink from uh, that he had with him. And we just sat there and continued playing Halo 2 right there in front of him. He didn't care. We didn't care. Everything was good. And, of course, uh, another teacher came in, too, that was uh, out, that happened to be a coach and taught uh, economics at the time. Oh, crap. What? I think that was a Molotov cocktail and you threw it by accident. Um, and he was asking us what what specific gun it was that we were using. And would you say it's like a battle rifle? And then he went into more detail. That's was like, look, it's just a gun. It was a tripwire. It was just a gun in the game. Don't You don't have to get that specific with it. It's not that important. And that was pretty much the end of that. And we had some other cold teachers like that, too, in high school. But uh, we'll save the rest of that for the next episode. We have been running kind of long. I didn't expect it to take me two minutes to finish up that story, so my bad on that. So, uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this episode of uh, Twin Fusion of Dishonor. Is that the way we should say, or, or this particular episode of Dishonor? This particular episode of Dishonor. So anyway, uh, I hope y'all enjoyed it. We didn't, we had a, hopefully you had some laughs, but uh, anyway, we'll see y'all next time on Twin Fusion Gaming. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye or baby. I didn't take it either way. All right, adios, my friends. You mean our friends? <laughs> I hope it gets cut off like that in the audio.